Hi, my name is Bob G. I'm a business manager and product definer for serial interface transceivers in the core products group. And today, I'll be talking about the Max 33040E, Maxim's newest CAN transceiver. It's a 3.3 volt, 4 megabit per second CAN transceiver in a SOT23 package. It has high robustness features like plus or minus 40 volts of fault protection, plus or minus 25 volts of common mode range, and an industry high plus or minus 40 kilovolts of ESD protection. Today I'll be demonstrating the common mode range as well as the fault protection features on our latest evaluation kit, the MAX 33040E Shield uh, part number. A closer look at the board, you can see that we have a terminal block and a DB9 connector for a connection with a, an existing CAN system. The uh, E-Shield is compatible with Arduino and uh, embed boards, and it can also operate as uh, a standalone EV kit. The MAX 33040E is this little guy. It's really hard to see in a SOT23 package. We have a digital isolator, so if you do use this part with an embed board, it will be isolating those signals. Um, CAN L and CAN H are these test points, and RXD and TXD are, are located here. For the common mode range test, the setup is per the diagram shown here, and as you can see, the function generator is in series with the high voltage power supply. And through the magic of video editing, you can see that I've connected all the relevant equipment. Down here, I have 3.3 volts connected to VDD and ground. This connection right here to uh, CAN H is the positive side of the function generator. The negative side of the function generator is connected to the positive side of the high voltage power supply, as well as CAN L on the board itself. I have the oscilloscope probe on RxD to monitor incoming uh, signals. So let's get started. I want to show the settings of the function generator. The frequency is set at 1 megahertz. The amplitude at 900 millivolts. And the offset at 450 millivolts. And so we'll gradually increase the common mode voltage here to 25 volts. There we go. And as you can see from the scope shot on RxD, um, this still shows a signal swing from 0 to 3.3 volts. And just goes to show the common mode range and how robust it is. Let's have a look at fault protection now. For the fault protection test, the setup is fairly straightforward. As you can see from this diagram, the function generator is connected to CANH and CANL and the high voltage power supply to CANH. And on the board, that's exactly what I've done. Connected the function generator here, as well as the high voltage power supply to CANH. And again, the oscilloscope probe on RxD to monitor um, the signal. So I have the function generator at the same setting. And as you can see from the oscilloscope, the RxD is running. And now we'll be applying the fault voltage going up to 40, 40 volts. Okay, so once set up 40 volts, you can see that RxD is now frozen, which basically means that the fault voltage on CANH has uh, basically turned off the receiver and driver of the transceiver. Now when I disable it, uh, you can see that RxD is toggling again. And so in summary, the MAX 33040E has high robustness for a 3.3 volt CAN transceiver in a SOT23 package with plus or minus 40 volts of fault protection, plus or minus 25 volts of common mode range, and plus or minus 40 kilovolts of ESD protection. Thank you for your time, and we'll see you in the next video.